We're coming to the house now. News are down. Captain America from the Scarab's agents who bombed a farmhouse where he was being held prisoner. Suffering from a brain injury, he was rushed to a hospital, the name of which the district attorney refuses to divulge, saying he will be kept a secret to protect Hillman. If Hillman does regain consciousness, you'll tell them that you are the Scarab. He must be killed before he can talk. How? Only the DA and Captain America know where he is. It is obvious that the district attorney and Captain America are the same man. When Graham phoned from the radio shop, he said that the district attorney was on his way to the Watson farm. Yet Captain America was the one who reached there. That doesn't locate Hillman for us. Gail Richards will. How is he? Bad shape. I wired for a famous brain surgeon. He was just starting off on a hunting trip when his office caught him. He's driving back and should be here by five o'clock. Here's their reply. He says he's coming here to the office. Yes. I couldn't take a chance to let anyone know which hospital Hillman is in. When the doctor arrives, I'll drive him there. In the meantime, you go to the hospital, stay right beside Hillman. In the event that he regains consciousness, try and get a statement, even for a moment. Understand? Right. <laughs> Keep quiet and drive where I tell you. Where to? The Drummond Museum. Good to see you, Miss Richards. Be seated. Dr. Mallard, why was I brought here? Perhaps this will explain. It explains a lot. You're the scarab. Yes. But your misfortune, I had to let you know. But I need some information. Sit down. Tell me, where are they keeping Hilda? If I knew, I wouldn't tell you. Fortunately, only the district attorney knows. I had thought you would say that. But I have a means of making you tell me the truth. This contains an extract grew from a jungle flower, which is a very efficient truth serum. Under its influence, you would tell me anything I want to know. Unfortunately for you, the effects never wear off, and you will spend the rest of your life in an insane asylum, a hopeless idiot. And now, Miss Richards. Wait. Go ahead, Miss Richards, and I warn you to tell the truth. I don't know which hospital Mr. Hillman is in, but the district attorney has wired for a brain surgeon. We're driving here in his car. He will arrive at the office at 5 o'clock. From there, he's to be taken to the hospital. What is the surgeon's name? Dr. Rodlin Barracks. Spell it. R-O-D-L-A-M. B-A-R-A-C-S. Contact Agent 33. Tell him to use his name and to go to the district attorney's office. Mr. Gardner? 
I'm Dr. Rodland Barracks. How do you do, Doctor? Would you have a chair? Thank you. You arrived earlier than I expected. I know. I received your wire about Hillman, and instead of driving all the way, I managed to charter a plane. That was very thoughtful of you. In a case like this, time is important. Has Hillman regained consciousness? Sorry, no. That's alarming. I'll have to make an examination at once. Uh, which hospital is he in? The Crestview on Woodlawn Avenue. Uh, my associate's waiting for my call. Uh, may I use your phone? Certainly. I'll dial it for you. What's the number? Oh, uh, 2643. Hello? Uh, get my surgical kit and meet me at the Crestview Hospital on Woodlawn Avenue. Understand? Got it. I'll take care of everything. The men are waiting downstairs. One will meet you in the lobby of the hospital in case of trouble. The other will wait in the getaway car. I'll be here when you get back. Very well. I'll start at once. I'm sorry I can't go with you, Doctor, but I have some work to do. Please phone in your report as soon as possible. Of course, Mr. Gardner. Thank you. Only Gail and I knew I'm expecting a brain surgeon, and the man I wired for is Dr. George Thomas. Then Gail is in trouble. Exactly. But there's a chance to find her. I gave him the name of the wrong hospital. I want you to phone the commissioner, ask him to send a raiding party to the Crestview Hospital, and pick up Dr. Rodman Barracks and whoever's with him. Meanwhile, I'm going to trace that phone call he made. This is the district attorney. I want the address of Oak, 26... Four, three. Who's there? The district attorney. Open up. Miss Richard. How would I know? You know, all right. And about that phony surgeon, Rodham Barracks, too. Phony? Well, the girl told us that. She gave you the wrong name. She made this one up to warn me. And at the same time, to tell me that Malder is a scarab. Malder? You're crazy. Hey, how could she do that? Rodham Barracks is Malder Scarab spelled backward. See? S-C-A-R-A-B. M-A-L-D-O-R. Malder is the scarab. When Malder finds out she double crossed him, he'll kill her. She'll have a horrible death. Well, you know what he'll... Shut up. He won't find it out in time. Yes? The whole thing was a trap. The cops were waiting at the hospital. Got the others. I just managed to escape. Hold the car there for a fast getaway. We'll be out as soon as we dispose of the girl. So you lied to me. No one can do that and live. This looks a thousand years old. But it isn't. A week ago, he was a living, breathing man. But he disobeyed my orders. He was placed in this case. In a short time, he became the withered mummy that you see before you. And you'll be just like that in a few minutes. Gruber. together while you connect the mummifying gas. I'm afraid the district attorney will hardly recognize Miss Richards when he finds her 
a withered mummy. arrived sooner than I expected, Mr. District Attorney. Where's Gail Richards? Well, you'll never find her unless... unless you're willing to exchange her life for my freedom. The scarab will have the pleasure of turning on the gas. Himself. Better make a deal, Captain America. In a few minutes, it will be too late to save Miss Richards. Then she's in the building. Tell me where she is. Captain America, whom we now know to be our fighting district attorney, the Scarab and his murderous gang pay the supreme penalty in the electric chair at the stroke of midnight tonight. To review the Scarab's crimes... No need to review them now. These convictions definitely prove that crime doesn't pay. I want to say that the people of this city owe a great deal to you, Mr. District Attorney. Uh, Captain America. Thank you. But we owe a great deal more to Gail. Her cleverness took me off to the Scarab's identity. But Captain America arrived in time to capture the Scarab. It's midnight. The toll of doom for the Scarab. Thank you. 